brought to you by the Every Dollar app. Start budgeting for free today. Jeff's in Indianapolis. Hi, Jeff. Welcome to the Ramsey Show. Hi, Dave. Pleasure to talk with you. You too. What's uh, up? My wife and I are in our early 70s. Uh, my son lives about a mile from us. He's in his early 40s. He relocated back here to Indiana from California about 11 years ago from L.A. where he's working in the music business. And uh, he was going to take over my insurance agency a few years. I uh, retired about nine years ago. So he did take that over. Uh, he got into tax problems when he was in California because he was working for a music composer that actually treated him as an employee but paid him as an independent contractor. So he didn't know anything about paying taxes. Got behind with the state and the IRS. Ended up owing them uh, thirty or forty grand, I think. We helped him wor- work out a structured repayment plan as a condition to him coming back and getting into insurance. And that's been paid through wage garnishments uh, since then. I discussed with him before he came back the need to stay on top of his taxes and finances because he's never been good with money. During that period of time, many times I'd ask him if he was on this, and he'd just blow up and wouldn't talk to me about it. Three months ago, he called us and told us that he was in tax debt to the IRS again and wanted his mom and I to uh, bail him out, basically, using our share of his of, of our estate when we die. Uh, we thought he'd probably owe about fifty or $60,000. Turns out he hasn't filed any state or federal tax returns for the past four years nor has he paid any estimated taxes for 2023. We're meeting with our our accountant next Thursday to go over all this to get specific numbers, but I'm guessing from what I've seen, it's going to be over $200,000, and about half of that is just interest and penalties. He also hasn't paid any 941 withholding or state unemployment tax. He has no business being uh, self-employed, obviously. So my question is, uh, we have the assets to do that, but we would have to sell off property and mutual funds. We are in, I don't know if you need our income or what exactly. What's your net worth? Us, net worth is probably about $2.3 million. Okay. And about 80, about uh, roughly half of that is in two pieces of real estate, our residence here in Indiana and another home we own in Florida. I'm sorry, Jeff. 80%, including the re, including the real estate, uh, the majority of our assets are in IRAs, Roths, and 403Bs from when my, my wife taught. We've got what, about 140000 uh, in the make? money market what, what's, fund. What's his income at the insurance company? Well, he just resigned from that position because after he took it over, he ran it into the ground. He couldn't uh. make a go of it. Right now he's doing a sales job, and uh, it seems to be going pretty well, but he's only been doing it a couple of months. He's making about uh, 75000 a year plus bonuses. Is he is he married? He's not married. He has an eight year old granddaughter that we absolutely love and, and uh, spends a lot of time with us. Uh, he got he he uh, was going to get married, but they did it kind of reverse. They got pregnant first, and then they they didn't get along, so they didn't get married. So both of them are here in town, and both of them are, uh, have jobs and our own businesses, mm-hmm. and they they get along fine. We we all get along fine. The insurance agency cool. was yours, and you sold it or gave it to him it was i actually worked for a captive company Mm -hmm. so they actually owned it and when i left they paid me a percentage of my renewals and that's what one of the cornerstones of my retirement now so i didn't have a say in where so you so you had a book of business but what did he come into he didn't take over your book did he he did pretty oh, much. Okay, so. Not all of it because they gave some. They split. It was a big agency, so they split it up among other agents. They gave him about half of it. Okay, Jeff, and he ran your book into the ground. Okay, ran into the ground. Okay, Jeff, does he have any other debt besides the tax debt that you know of? Do you know what that number looks like? I don't think he owes. He he rents. He doesn't own a home. I don't think he owes anything else. He doesn't have credit card debts. The tax debts the only one I'm that I'm aware of. I hear your disgust for his behavior in your voice and yeah, also you hear sure a, I also hear a dad that loves his son even though he's been stupid do you hear very well um so i guess there's two options one is you bail him out which doesn't sound real appealing um if you don't bail him out what happens he just has to work with the irs and for a we're lot gonna, of years and find- yeah, actually, we've got a grow meeting, up. Uh, 
Yeah, we got the thing is, Dave. This this has happened so many times. I can't count them. Uh, but you've been there to bail him out him. every time. Yeah, and we, we had to take him out of high school because of his behavior. We had to send him out to a, a survival camp in Idaho. And then we put him in a private school in California, and all that required a second mortgage on our house at the time. Uh, we bailed him out of a car loan that he didn't keep up with that I co-signed for. Uh, it's just been one thing after another. He just is. is I'm, very, okay. I'm very, okay with no being the answer. Yeah, I, it, well, if it were me, I wouldn't do it. Here's 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 what what I'm gonna here's what I'm gonna suggest. <clears throat> he got a he got a severance package from the insurance company that's going to pay out about thirty grand over the next five years, mm-hmm. like about six thousand a year. Mm-hmm. I told him that we would help him out if he would sign that over to me to pay back what we're going to advance him. But I initially thought we could do the whole amount. I don't think so you should no do way. any of that, Jeff. I, I really don't. That's the way I think. That's I, the way I think. I think that he's grown, and I think that he makes a living. It's he's not making he's not poverty level. There's nothing wrong with him. I think he just needs to be a man and do man things. I totally agree. You with know, you. and I think you're a great dad. Thank you. There's one other one other question to kind of take this out a little further because I don't think my son realizes how bad a, a position he's in. If he pays this over the next 20 or 30 years, he still may not have it paid off when we die. And that's all uh, right. We, we may, yeah, but we have we have all of our all of our assets and our our, our uh, real estate is in trust. Mm-hmm. And my daughter is the trustee and the executor. Mm-hmm. And we cur- we currently put a clause in our will that al- that allowed my son to take our house here as part of his settlement of the estate because he loves our home. Mm-hmm. But I'm concerned that if he doesn't have this paid off, I don't even know that I want to le- leave that share of the estate to him because I think the IRS could put a lien on that. They can. And after after and he I becomes wanna, the owner, they can. Yeah. Yeah, and I want to make sure that I mean, ultimately it was for him, but it's ultimately also to go to our granddaughter, and I don't want to yeah. eat up our share of that estate. I think you can. We, I think these are two separate questions. Do you help him today? Yeah, they are. Yeah. Do you help him today? Jade and I are both saying, sadly, I probably wouldn't. I probably yeah, wouldn't. That's the way I'm thinking. And then, uh, do I change the de- change the will? Uh, in a few years, I might. You can change it now. You can change it later. Can he put something in there that says, if the debt's not paid off, the home goes elsewhere until the debt is paid off? Yeah, you could leave it in trust for the granddaughter and bypass it, bypass yeah. the the kid that can't seem to find his way. Yeah, that's so sad. This is the Ramsey Show.